Do you think data analytics was a complex and time-consuming task? This is no longer true. OpenAI has recently unveiled advanced data analysis. Now, with advanced data analysis, anyone can perform data analytics in just a few minutes. Without further ado, let's dive in. I have this massive data set containing 6,000 rows of telecom customer data, including churn rates. Next, I'll upload this CSV file to the Advanced Data Analysis, which can handle file sizes of up to 512 MB. First, I'm going to ask, can you describe this data? Advanced Data Analysis thinks that the data relates to telecom users, with each row representing an individual customer. It understands the data very well. Then I'm going to ask it to perform exploratory data analysis on this data and create visuals. As you can see, it performs the data analysis and creates some graphs. But it complains about 10 missing values in the total charges, which we need to address before building any models. So our next step is to clean the data. Advanced data analysis filled these missing values with the mean or average value, which is a common approach in data cleaning. Next, let's ask it to perform exploratory data analysis on this data and create visualizations again. And let's take a look at those graphs. Distribution of tenure. The tenure distribution with peaks at around 0 to 5 months, which represents new customers, and around 70 months, which represents loyal customers. Distribution of monthly charges. The distribution of monthly charges peaks at around $20 to $30. Distribution of total charges. The total charges indicates that a large number of customers have relatively low total charges. Churn by gender. Churn does not seem to significantly differ by gender. Both genders show similar churn rates. Churn by senior citizen status. A higher proportion of senior citizens churn compared to non-senior citizens. Churn by internet service type. Customers with fiber optic service seem to churn at a higher rate than those with DSL or no internet service. Churn by contract type. Customers with a month-to-month -month contract churn at a much higher rate than those with one-year or two-year contracts. Now, we have rough ideas about what factors influence the churn rate. Next, let's ask Advanced Data Analysis to show us the significant factors that drive customer churns in descending order. Advanced Data Analysis creates a bar chart in seconds indicating that total charges, monthly charges, tenure, customer ID, contract type are the top five factors. Please take note that tenure and customer ID are somewhat duplicated or highly correlated. Older customers usually have smaller customer IDs, and newer customers has bigger customer IDs. Advanced data analysis also alerts us that these factors doesn't indicate whether they have a positive or negative effect and suggests to use logistic regression. So let's ask it to use logistic regression and create the visualizations again and it generates a new graph showing positive and negative impact on those factors. Not only that, but it also provides details such as the negative coefficient of contracts suggests that certain types of contracts, for example longer term contracts, are associated with a lower likelihood of churn. The positive coefficient of internet service indicates that certain types of internet service are associated with a higher likelihood of churn. This gives you a clear picture of how these factors impact the churn rates. Isn't that amazing? Without actionable insights, data analysis is useless, right? Indeed, we can also ask advanced data analysis to advise us on how we can improve customer retention and it will generate a list of suggestions. Let's evaluate whether these suggestions make sense. For contract length, advanced data analysis reveals that customers with longer contracts are less likely to churn and suggests company to promote longer contracts by offering incentives for customers to sign up for them. I think this is great suggestion. For internet service, advanced data analysis identifies internet service customers have higher churn rate and suggests the company to probe into the reason behind it and possibly improve service quality as a result. Excellent. Advanced data analysis also finds customers with paperless billing are more likely to churn, indicating potential difficulties or issues with the paperless system that may be causing customer frustration. It suggests the company to investigate this and make necessary improvements. I think these are all brilliant suggestions. And advanced data analysis can indeed be a powerful tool to improve your business or sales. If you are interested in this data set, it will be available in the description below. If you're looking for more data sets to explore, 
you can visit Kaggle.com under datasets here. You will find many different datasets. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to help me reach border audience. And see you in the next one.